Hey everyone, today we will explore the world of cybersecurity with Hacker GPT, a specialized version of Chat GPT designed for ethical hacking and cybersecurity. In a digital landscape where cyber attacks occur every 39 seconds, causing billions in damages annually, Hacker GPT provides the essential tools and knowledge to defend against these threats. So, Hacker GPT offers guidance on a wide range of topics, including security practices, ethical hacking techniques, and scripting for system security. Cybercrime damages are expected to reach $6 trillion annually, making it a major challenge for organizations. And if we talk about some of the breaches, so in 2020, over 36 billion records were exposed due to data breaches. And the infamous Equifax breach of 2017, where 147 million people's information was compromised, highlights the importance of regular security assessments and vulnerability management. These are the areas where Hacker GPT excels. And Hacker GPT strictly adheres to ethical guidelines, refusing to assist with any unethical or illegal queries. So our commitment is to provide guidance that adheres to legal and professional standards, helping you become a responsible cybersecurity professional. So guys, let's get started with Hacker GPT that equip you with the knowledge and skills to defend against cyber threats ethically and effectively. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And just a quick info for you guys if you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be right choice. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and pin comment. So let's get started. So guys, this is ChatGPT and this is the paid version of ChatGPT Foro. And what I was telling you is, this is the Explore GPT section. So here you can find all the GPTs that are created by ChatGPT, OpenAI or the individuals or you can find the companies who have created GPTs. So you can found these are the recently used and this is the most used hacker GPT. You can find other GPTs also that is hacker GPT and you could see that and they have been used by 5000 plus users and this have been used by 10,000 plus users. So you can just search for ethical hacker GPT here and it has been rated 4.5 stars, 10,000 plus conversations and these are the conversation starters if you need any assistance and the capabilities you can see here and the ratings given by users and more by the creator who has created this. So we'll start with this. We'll start the chat here and I want to tell you guys that ChatGPT doesn't answer non-ethical questions. So if you try to extract that information from ChatGPT, that won't be possible, but we can do a bit, like we can cross a bit line with ethical hacker GPT, but that should be used for ethical purposes only. So I will show you guys how you can utilize this GPT. And one more thing guys, if you want to create your own GPT, you can also create that also. You can go to explore GPT section and here's the create option. Click on create and here you can start creating your GPT. If you click on configure, you can write the name of your GPT, description, instructions, and the conversation starters as you just saw with the hacker GPT, ethical hacker GPT and the capabilities, what you want to be enabled, you can do that. And here in the create section, you could write the prompts here and it will take that information and use it for more purposes. And here you could attach more files that could help create your GPT. Okay guys, so here you could see the configuration and the preview of your GPT. And you can finalize that. So moving back, we'll get back to ethical hacker GPT and start with our conversation with him. So starting with the first thing we can do is we can ask him like, how can I perform a basic security assessment on a web application? So if I tell you guys, performing a basic security assessment on a web application is crucial for identifying vulnerabilities and ensuring the application is secure. And this process involves using various tools and techniques to test the application for common security issues. So you could ask him that how can I perform a basic security 
assessment on a web application. And just wait for a few seconds and you could have the response from Ethical Hacker GBT. So you could see that performing a basic security assessment on a web application involves several key steps. And these are the key steps. Number one is preparation and information gathering. And how you can do that? These are the steps, identify the scope, gather information, then is the second step that is reconnaissance. And you can use the tools, Burp Suit, Nikto and others. Similarly, you could see all the steps here. So I won't be guiding or I won't be reading what responses are generated by Ethical Hacker GPT. I have used that and he provides very accurate, like I would say around 95 to 96% accurate results. Here I want to show you guys how you can utilize it. So I will show you prompts and what things you can ask him. So this was all about repeat. So this was about the general security thing. Now we'll move to ethical hacking and we can ask him how we can perform a SQL injection attack ethically on a test environment. So these are the prompts that you can write. That would be how do I perform a SQL injection attack and that too ethically if you write this that would be good on a test environment and if i tell you guys so sql injection is one of the most common web application vulnerabilities and understanding how to perform a sql injection attack ethically on a test environment can help you identify and mitigate this risk in your own applications and you could see he has responded and he has provided you the steps that you can set up a control test environment first thing then preparation and you could use these tools then you have the manual sql injection testing so these are the methods that you could use that is or or one equal to one for the database and automated sql injection testing so this is the command for that and you could verify vulnerability documentation reporting so you could see that this gpt is capable of answering the basic questions as we have discussed the basics question till now now we'll move to scripting and automation so here you could see how he respond to this so we'll ask him can you provide a python script to scan open ports on a network so let's see what he provides provide a python script and that too to scan ports on a network so Scanning open ports on a network is a fundamental step in identifying potential vulnerabilities and a Python script that can automate this process, making it easier to regularly check for open ports and secure them. So this is the Python script. You can use any ID and run on that. And you could see that he's explaining the code also. Yeah, you can ask him like, can you explain the code line by line? And this hacker GPT will do that for you. And how to run the script that also he has provided you. And similarly, we can also ask him that how we can write a bash script to monitor and log unauthorized login attempts. And if you want, I can also run this prompt. How do I write a bash script and that too to monitor and log unauthorized access. unauthorized login attempts so we can monitor and log unauthorized login attempts and that would be essential for maintaining the security of your system so as you can see he has written a bash script and that can help you automate this process and this will provide real-time alerts and logs for further analysis and you could see that he is providing the explanation and how you can run the script and he's writing the note also like you can write more prompts if you have any doubts in any of the script or any of the responses that hacker gpt has responded and he will definitely provide you with good responses so now moving on now we'll ask this ethical hacker gpt about some specific security tools and we could ask him about burp suit and so let's write a prompt can you explain how to configure and use burp suit mm, 
or we can write for web application testing so if i sum you up so burp suit is a powerful tool for web application security testing and understanding how to configure and use it effectively can help you identify and address a wide range of security vulnerabilities in your applications so you could see he has provided the initial steps that would be downloading and installing burp suit configuring your browser to use burp suit as a proxy and then intercept and inspect traffic and then you can use it for testing purpose logging and reporting and tips for effective testing so this is the response for the security tools and if we talk about incident response we can ask him to write a script to collect system logs for forensic analysis so collecting system logs is a critical part of incident response and forensic analysis and this script can automate processes that can ensure that you have all the necessary data to investigate security incidents effectively so if i write here we can ask this hacker gpt and i am sure he will provide the response for that and write the script so can you provide a script to collect system logs for forensic analysis so as i told you this is the critical part of incident response and we have covered about the tools that is burp suit we have asked him about the automation process general cyber security question ethical hacking that would be sql injection attack and the python script to scan open ports on a network so he can write scripts also automation task and he could response with the general cyber security questions also and if you see here for the incident response he has written the script to correct system logs for forensic analysis so i won't be explaining this code as we are just looking for the prompts that we can give to ethical hacker gpt if you want you could just ask him also that explain this code line by line and here he has mentioned also the explanation that is directories and files to collect and after that he is collecting the logs and that would be copied in the directory that is he has mentioned it a variable that is output directory archiving logs clean up and how to run the script so this was about the incident response now we'll move to some advanced topics and in advanced topics what we can ask him is ki how to perform a man in the middle attack in a controlled environment and remember this that you have to mention some of the keywords that would be in a controlled environment and for that thing only he will response or provide the response to you so i will start here that how do i perform a man in the middle attack in a controlled environment so if you understand man in the middle attack that works in a controlled environment this can help you develop better defenses against such attacks and it's important to learn and practice these techniques ethically so you can see here that he is providing the prerequisites and the step by step guide how you can conduct a man in the middle attack so first is set up the control environment then install necessary tools enable ip forwarding perform arp spoofing and then capture and analyze traffic clean up and restore the network and conclusion so you could just follow with more prompts that i want more information about setting up the control environment just write this prompt and this ethical hacker gpt will provide more responses to you so he will provide you how you can set up the control environment so now moving on we will ask some more prompts and that could be about the reverse engineering so we could ask him that can you explain the processes of reverse engineering a malware sample or we can also ask about honey pot to detect malicious activity that could be how can i implement a honey pot to detect malicious activity or what are the techniques for securing a docker container so we'll ask him one prompt here let's see what he responds to that so how can i implement a honey pot to detect malicious activity
so you could see that he has started responding to that and if i tell you the sum so a honey port is a security mechanism set to detect deflect or in mechanism to some manner and it counteract attempts at unauthorized use of information systems implementing a honey port can help you monitor and understand attack patterns and this is the step by step guide to implement a honey port you can choose the type of honey port prepare your environment install and configure the honey port software and these are all the commands how you can configure it then you can monitor and analyze the honey port and regular maintenance and updates and this is the simple honey port using honeyd you could install that and run these commands so with that guys and in the last we will also cover cyber security policies and compliance so he could also answer to those prompts also that you can ask him that what should be included in a company cyber security policy and you could mention which type of company you are running so i will ask him that so you could ask him that what should be included in a uh, ad tech companies cyber security policy so let's see so you could see here that creating comprehensive security policy for an ad tech company involves adding various aspects and that would be introduction first is the purpose for cyber security policy scope roles and responsibilities data protection and privacy network security application security user security awareness and training incident response and management compliance and legal requirements physical security device and endpoint security so similarly you could ask him that draft me the company's cyber security policy and start with the introduction so he will provide you all the introduction points and then you can ask him that draft roles and responsibilities he will draft that also so you could like break it into parts and ask the ethical hacker gpt and he will respond to you as it has some limitations of some words and some of the responses so you could ask him in the breaking parts and he will respond to you so with that guys we have come to the end of this session if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section below and our experts will help you as soon as possible so till then stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here